have tattoos. I do, and I mm-hmm. and don't smoke cigarettes. I, I stop smoking cigarettes. No, I still I, enjoy secondhand smoke. I'm breathing secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna choke. <laughs> I smoked a cigarette a couple weeks ago. Good for you. More doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Nice. nice. And I didn't get all hooked again. It was an American spirit, and I enjoyed oh. it. <coughs> this is great. <coughs> oh, and I so stunk. Tasty. My breath stunk for a oh, while, yeah. but. Look. My fingers. And your teeth. And yours. My breath. That's fine. There's no wrong answers here. No, on, there isn't. On the Wikipedia rabbit hole of death. Not at death. We no. just jump on the internet and we just start reading shit and make notes. Yeah. And then yeah, we it, share the shit with each other to hopefully mm-hmm. learn a thing or two to be mm-hmm. better people. And maybe, maybe remember. Because if you're not learning anything, you're not getting, you're not making progress. And learning is knowing and knowing is half the battle. Half the battle. Knowing is half the battle. Rock and roll was my, as a child, he was my first uh, ideal G.I. Joe. Okay. First G.I. Joe I identified with was Breaker. Really? The first G.I. Joe I wanted to be was rock and roll. Rock and roll? Yeah. I can see that. Rock and roll was cool. The blonde beard was cool. Blonde beard, Zen surfer he was the physical education guy he was in charge of the general pt okay. of the gi joe troops okay uh which led me to go well what's the birth how did we get a physical education model and that led back to that's the original roman model of education wow yeah it goes back to you know you learned you learned rhetoric, you learned arithmetic, you know. Really? Well, yeah, no, you learned math, you learned yeah. uh, rhetoric and oratory. Rhetoric. They called it rhetoric was like oratory and shit. Language and yeah. language arts today. Oh, uh, that was actually separate to the oh, that really? you held it was held in greater esteem because you you most of the people didn't bother writing shit down, they just memorized shit. But so the physical education the physical started back then as well for okay. men and women. Alike. Really? Okay. Yeah. Often separate, but equal. Roman times, they did basic gymnastics. <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> light weight lifting. <laughs> javelins, discus. Rocks. Oh, yeah, because all that. Yeah, the Olympics is like all from that, right? That yeah. era. Yeah, Olympics free, Olympics came from before then. Yeah. Like they were doing a version of the Olympics that were honoring what they believed to be the Greek tradition. And okay. we just picked up on we like took their bullshit and made anywho. But what How I far, did this is a stupid question. I got a lot of stupid questions. I'm really dumb about some things that I oh, should know. That's the joy of being a white dude. We're stupid. So how far is Rome from Greece? I'm just realizing as we're talking about this, I think I've gotten ancient Rome and ancient Greece. Oh, most people completely do. mixed up. Mo- mo- Is most everybody? Pe- most people do. Yeah. Like mo- most people just call it Greco Roman. It's because they just kind of fought and fucked each other in an amalgamation. So are they from the same areas? Uh, other sides of the Mediterranean. Okay. Greece is closer to Turkey. Rome okay. is based out of italy you know any turkish guys uh off the top of my head i i i want to say amar no i nope nope he's not turkish wasn't volkan saginus turkish he could have been remember him i do okay <laughs> just checking I, do. I don't know i mean I, just I, like I, like I, in a pair like somebody erican erican oh. yappenberger could have been turkish too erican right? yappergeger yeah, he could have been Turkish. I don't Who know. was that? Why do he I know played, that name? He was a couple years older than he was. In yeah, he was in the yearbooks, right? Eric and the Epper Geeker. 
Yeah, he was. He was. He was. Erkan Epiger. He was closer to John and Kelly's age. Let me ask you this. Okay. If you were gonna be suddenly whisked away to a game show tomorrow, it's a brand new game show. You think you might even be on another planet, whatever it is. And they're like, quick, find a Turkish person like that that you could get to vouch for you, like to bail you out of prison. Like who would be the like if you had to? Nope. Who would it be? I don't. I I don't know anyone. Okay, you're in. You wake up. You're in a Turkish prison. Okay. And that Turkish police tell you, you need to prove that you know one Turkish person, and we will let you out and give you a fortune, and you'll be rich forever, and we'll we'll all give you blowjobs if you want them, but you don't have to take the blowjobs. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Though. Name the one Turkish person we can get on the phone. And they can verify they know you. Who are you going with? I don't. I, I don't have a Turkish <laughs> person I can call, Joe. So you would I, you would just say, "Sorry, I, I'm staying in prison." No, I wouldn't say sorry. I'm staying in prison. <laughs> I'm saying sorry. I don't want to just white guy a foreign sounding name that I remember from high school and hope the motherfucker's Turkish. You don't think you have a good enough relationship with Volkan Saginus from school that you could have been like, hey. And they they contact him. They're like, collect call from Steve. If you collect or if you uh, accept, you can save his life and he can get out of jail. You don't think Volcon would know you well enough? To like, oh, Steve. Yeah. I'll I mean, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think he. I don't think he would. And I'm like to depend on the kindness of a general <laughs> uh, general stranger. But let's. I mean, let's, but you're saying more. You're not sure if he's Turkish. Yeah. So you don't want to just like label them as Turkish just to get you out of prison. Yeah. Because that's what white people do. We just do whatever's good for us. We'll just, I don't care about labeling you whatever as long as it helps me in my situation. Yeah, you're right. Good point. Good way to stick to your guns. Mm. And way to just stay in prison and get raped. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) we don't know. Well, I didn't tell you it's a prison filled with camels, horny camels. Oh, okay. This is one human and horny camels. That would make sense. Carlos Summer here.